Shalom, brothers and sisters. So welcome back to my channel. So today um, I feel like there are a lot of chaos in the African diaspora and uh, keep on playing this blame game between Africans and African Americans. And this is one thing that I want to address because this, you know, how we have to uh, find a way of how we can live, you know, socially. So um, I feel like there are a lot of chaos that um, we need to address. And before anything, first I would like us to watch this video. All right, so I have a question and I'm not trying to be controversial. But why do African women treat African American women so bad? Like it's automatic attitude. Like I've experienced that a lot growing up. And I used to ask my mom like, why are they like that towards us? And it's because I'm African American. Um, I went to the African market. I was getting some meat or whatever. I was getting some tripe and some goat meat cut up. And I didn't know that you had to grab a ticket in order, you know, the process, basically. And I promise those ladies let me sit there for like 15 minutes talking in their language, rolling their eyes at me, all kinds of stuff without even telling me, hey, ma'am, you need to grab a ticket or whatever. I ended up talking to a guy and I was like, oh, what did you get your tripe cut? Like, what, what size did you get it? And he was like, oh, this is a medium. Do you know you're supposed to grab a ticket? And I was like, no. And, you know, he helped me out or whatever. But these ladies was just rolling their eyes and had an attitude the whole time. I found that to be like very mean, but I've experienced that. Like going to my Nigerian restaurants, they would give me the, I asked for igusi with beef. They would give me the fat from the beef, not the actual meat. I mean, I'm talking about excessive fat. And I'm like, ma'am, I asked you for meat. But anyways, and, and they feel like that I don't know the difference or something. I don't know. So, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about because I grew up in that culture. I've experienced the most love from Senegalese women. Oh my gosh, they treat me like a sister. But not Nigerian women, no. Um, not all Nigerian women, let me just make that clear. But most of them are very mean to us. Stop being mean. Please. <laughs> Is it just me or have you noticed there's a huge difference in dating black American men and African men? I like to think of myself as the honorary president of the Black American Princess Association, BAPA. And this is an official statement that Black American men need to get it together. I've noticed that in dating Black American men, it's so nonchalant. Like you would think you are asking them a favor when they asked you to go out. It's almost like they've lost the art of courtship. There's no like, hey, let's go out to dinner. Let's do this. It's always let's chill. Or sometimes they'll even have the nerve to ask you for something before you've even gone out. Whereas dating African men, they will literally try to give you the world before you go out on a date with them. And they may have ulterior motives. I understand that. But at least they're taking the girlies to dinner, they have great jobs, and they literally are trying to prove themselves to you. Whether it's for their own ego or not, you're going to have a good time. I don't know, I just feel like these African men are coming to y'all's country, Black American men, and taking your jobs and stealing your women. Like, if you guys really love black queens as much as you say you do, you're going to have to step it up because y'all are losing on your own home field. So my question is, why are we all blaming each other for each other's downfall? I mean, um, the ways are open and we should all interact as human beings and we should socialize as human beings. And this calls for you know this calls for social interactions and how people relate why should we blame each other for some other things so for the first woman um she's trying to say that um some nigerian women who actually are at the the ship uh, at the, the the reception are trying to i mean they are not engaging her in everything that's going on so she feels like she's been left alone she's been left out and the girl also explains that it seems that she's been in nigeria for quite a long time and what i can say is that you know people have this mentality people have this mindset mentality you know when uh, certain kind of people come to a place they will take a, a given they'll take a given thing so for example they think that africans uh, rather than african americans when they come that not everyone but those given type of people they think that they will take their men you know and 
um, and that's even the psychology of women. They think that these people are here to take our men and we won't allow them. So they see you as competitors. So, but again, I'll, I'll bring this caution. It's not every African out there who does this. Um, but again, um, it can be a reason because you see, the second woman explains why African men love African American women. And African American women also prefer, prefer, sorry, prefer African men because they are romantic as they have said and they are soft they are calm i'm not saying that african-american men are not soft or calm or anything but what i want to say is that there's a, there, there, there is a lot of chaos in 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 in, in the african diaspora uh, also it also influences from our brothers and sisters because we keep on fighting you know the stereotypes of how we perceive each other and I feel like there is a lot of chaos. There's a lot of chaos. And I think we need to see these things in a, a positive way. See, if an African-American woman marries an Afri African man, that's a plus to them because we have a lot of women, we have a lot of men out there. So why should we fight for these small resources? And um, I think the way the last woman said that, you know, African men are coming to the United States and they're taking your jobs and also they're taking your women. I think that's a way of igniting a conflict. You know, um, they are putting uh, this to the African-American men that um, we as African men, when we go there, we will take their jobs and we will take their women. And so I find this problematic because such kind of words uh, propagate, you know, that age and such kind of stereotypes. So why should we fight ourselves with, uh, within the diaspora? I think this question of diaspora fights, it needs to end. We need to see things on a positive way. You see, um, I stayed in a family where our, 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 our parents um, married to the same tribe. You know, Kenya itself is tribolic. So I stayed in a family where my parents married from the same tribe. For example, Amalu. Um, my parents expect me to marry from Amalu. But, th but thank God, um, we, are, we are doing what is called diversification of marriage. So because we are taking, we are doing what is called um, interboundary marriages or intermarriages. Some people call it like that. So when you do intermarriages, there are some advantages that it comes. So my uncles married from, married from, you know, a different, you know, a different community. That's a Kamba language, a Kamba community or the Kamba. That's how they call them in Kenya. So if you find a if you find a time try, try try to find the different tribes that are in Africa, um, so how can we stop these differences? How can we stop this you know diversity? I think if we look at things in a positive way, um, we can come up with a ground that really shows things in a positive way. What if what if an African man marries an African American woman and things go right, you know? The diaspora fight we end so we need these intermarriages we need these socializations and also for the african women in nigeria those few african women in nigeria who sees african-american women as their competitors for you know for 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 for, for men um i think uh people need to realize that uh, scarce mentality is not a good thing and there are there are a lot of options to explore when it comes to socialization when it comes to dating so I think these are small things as we as diasporans, we don't need to fight. Um, I, the biggest things that we need to fight about is how will you come home, you know, um, the stories of preparation. Those are the big things that we need to discuss. But diasporans fighting for small things like, you know, um, who will take whose job, who will take whose woman, who is going to take whose man. I, I find such kind of things so ridiculous. So guys, um, let's see things in a positive way. If we intermarry, it's for the good. Um, if an African person comes to Africa, comes to the United States or any other part outside Africa continent, maybe they are exploring job opportunities. Maybe what if they decide to intermarry somewhere out there? There is no problem. The, the main thing is that let's keep our heritage, let's keep our African cultural heritage, let's um, embrace our diversity. In as much as we are one people, you know, we, we grew apart and we are both embracing different cultures, but what if we we bring them together? You can find that something beautiful might happen at the end of it. So let's not fight as diasporans these small, small things. There are uh, a lot of big things that we can fight together to you know to achieve them. 
so guys um if you're seeing this for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel it's a small channel on my way to 600 subscribers that's even not uh, the requirement for monetization but i do appreciate all my fans who always keeps in touch with me all my fans who watches my videos i really highly appreciate guys so guys um that's just a small video that i wanted to talk about because i feel it's important we might have you know look at it as a small thing but these things culminates into hate and hate and hate and uh when we start fighting as diasporans and we, we are people from the same ancestry and we are people we are like brothers and sisters and we need to you know understand each other we need to see each other as opportunity but not as grounds of hating people as ground of you know propagating our stereotype uh, the way the two people are saying so guys let's be vigilant let's be careful love it's eugene from kenya peace love and harmony Shalom brothers and sisters. See you. Salute.